concept is life table. The life table, what is life table? Life table can also be answered as a probability of death. So when we study population, we study the growth, now we will study the death. What is the probability of death of an organism? Can be found from the life table. In the life table, what we have, we have age in the x-axis and survivors in the y-axis. Okay? So, survivors is number of survivors here. Okay? Huge in number. And also, this life table is counted or calculated based on genders. Just like the age structure. Also, we have female with red color, male with blue color. And you can see how it's forming. Uh, particularly, this one is... Uh, for you can see it's for humans, the survivor uh, ship curve that is listed because this is basically a survivorship curve, but it's represented based on the number of individuals surviving in different age. Okay, now here you can see this is the example of what type one survivorship curve. That's why we have this sort of curve. Now what we have here, a life table is also known as a mortality table, also known as actuarial table. Is a table which shows for each age what the what is the probability that a person of that age will die before his or her next birthday. So basically probability of death. So what is the chance that if your age is 30 now, what is the chance that you will survive at 31? What is the chance that you will survive at 32? So that probability is calculated based on the probability of death or life table. And the life table looks something like this. Where you have age in years, we have probability of dying between x and x plus 1 year, number of survivor till age x, number of dying t between age x and x plus 1, okay, person. So this table, this is nothing to explain much. Uh, you can see in CSR multiple questions sometime from this table. And uh, you can easily answer the from uh, the table itself. All you need to know uh, what represents what here. X is the age interval or age class. Okay. Nx is the number of survival at the start of an age interval x. Let's say interval of age, uh, interval of x is say 1 year or 2 year you can count. So, Nx is the number of survivors at start of the age intervals. Qs, Qx is a rate of mortality during the age interval x to x1. So, start with age x, let's say start with age 10 and 11. And what is the rate of mortality between age 10 and 11? That is QS. That's how we calculate. LX. Proportion of organism surviving to start age interval X. How many of the organisms surviving to the starting age that you started with? 10. So if you start with 10 and we know that we can count how, uh, the survival probability between 10 and 11. But what is the probability that you survive till 10 even? That is LX. Dx, the number of proportion dying during age interval x to x1, d for death, remember, okay? So, qx was the growth between x and x1 and dx is the death between x death rate between x and x1. And capital LX, number of individuals alive on the average during the age interval x to x1. Okay? Number of individuals alive on the average during Average age during x to x1, 10 to 11, number of individuals alive. Tx, total years to be lived by individuals for x in the population. Total years to be lived by individual x means, let's say the x is 10 years as I said. So, total number of years that 10 year individual of human population will survive. That is Tx. And Ex means the x, so what is this? Mean expectation of life for individuals who are alive at the start of the age interval x mean expectation of life 
means again that same idea that till 10th year age how many have survived the mean for that expectation for the whole human population that is ex so only this lx dx tx ex are needed and based on that uh, there are formula they will also give you that the table will be provided to you and you need to just count or calculate that value some of the questions are there earlier they used to ask this question more often uh, for last like, I think 2-3 days they are not asking much of a question because in CBT mode these tables are not easily visual like uh, it's not uh, placed in the same uh, screen that's why that's why they, they change the questions but earlier they used to ask it but you now understand the components of a uh, life structure diagram, life table and why life table is important life table is important because there are three different types one is a cohort life table one known as dynamic life table what is a dynamic life table it follow all individuals born in one time interval in years until they die means in a population you follow all the individuals living in that population from the time of their birth in a regular interval till they die okay so let's say the interval is three years after every three years you will count the total number of individuals surviving till their death for a whole population that is cohort or dynamic life table second time is cross sectional or static life, life table it's nothing but a snapshot of a current age structure in a given time you just say how many number of individuals are surviving what are their ages what are the details you just write it down and that is your cross sectional or static life table then composite life table that are taken from multiple years but not any regular interval so basically the composite one is multiple cross section type so in multiple years you take snapshot of how many individuals are surviving and based on that you are putting the data in that table in that format why these structures are useful why they are used basically life expectancy calculations from age structure i mean for this life tables not a structure from life tables we can calculate the life expectancy of organisms because basically this life uh, tables they give us idea about the type of survivorship curve whether it's type 1 2 and 3 based on that we can comment on that organism and the type of organism if it's type 1 we know they are bigger we know they produce offsprings they give more parental care their reproductive age comes at a later age okay and they their offsprings are also bigger in size so all this modification all the information we also get not only that from the life table we can calculate the life expectancy and it is used in life insurance companies actually they study a particular population and they find out life expectancy and based on that calculation they put their plans so that they don't need to pay much when a person requires it for the maximum time most of the life insurance plans they work uh, generally till 70 they say 75 years or 80 years time a person is starting paying uh, the premium from 25 years to 75 years or 25 years to 80 years but the person will require this life premium maximum during these ages only and that is the time where their premium is at its end and the coverage is at its end okay so based on this idea they count exactly what will be the premium for individual age so that they remain profitable at the end of the story because the insurance companies need to be profitable they need to provide they need to have an outflow of money when person requires insurance but where the other money comes from for the others who are living so the money for insurance for death is supplied from where from from the money they are getting from the living person right so you need the insurance maximum till that uh, time 75 to 80, 80 years so if you want if you want to insure your parents let's say uh, if they are 60 years near 60 years age or beyond that you'll see this huge premium charging but the same way if you want to secure yourself the premium will be far less because the same idea that in human population there's a high chance of your survival but less chance of your parent survival okay with growing time it changes then planning of future funds in politics planning of the future funds also utilize the same idea of life expectancy calculation in case of uh, agriculture harvesting in harvesting they utilize this 
uh, age structure when when are the fish going to be big enough to eat based on that they uh, they design the environment what is the population turnover how the population turnover is going to be when they are going to get it all this information they can gather and conservation and control issues are also somewhere they incorporate which age is most susceptible for mortality based on that we can protect an organism right if you want to conserve it we will protect it by that age frame if females aren't surviving to produce and reproduce then no point of saving the baby because in conservation let's say in captive breeding facility it's a, a price intensive process to take some organism from the wild and put in the captive breeding it requires a lot of effort time money management right so if you want to conserve a species that and we found out that the female after a sudden age x is not viable for reproduction so if a female is not viable for reproduction after that age and if we have let's say plenty of babies beyond that age no point of keeping those because they are not being able to reproduce so our conservation idea will fail so we can judge by what time we can conserve the organism right and whether it's logical to save it for conservation or not okay all this idea can be drawn from this uh, life table 